Let's try another type of isotope problem. This is more of a quantitative type of problem with calculations. Bromine has two naturally occurring isotopes. One has a mass of 78.918 AMUs or atomic mass units and has an abundance of 50.69%. The other isotope has a mass of 80.916 AMUs and an abundance of 49.31%. So, just a quick note on these percentages. If you had a pile of bromine, 50.69 of those atoms will be of this particular isotope weighing 78.91 AMUs, and the remainder of the atoms will weigh 80.916 AMUs each. Now, this question really is to determine the atomic mass of bromine. So the way to handle this kind of a problem is to simply take the numbers, multiply them, and add them. And that is simply taking 78.918, multiply that by the percent abundance of that particular isotope. But in this case, we want to get rid of the percent, so it's 50.69 divided by 100 percent. Just to make sure we understand how the units are canceling out, just as a detail. All right, that's one contribution of that isotope. And the contribution of the other isotope to the atomic mass of bromine would be 80.916 AMUs times 49.31% divided by 100%. Percents cancel out. And you add these two numbers up, and you should come up with 79.90 AMU. Units of AMU remain because the 78.918 and the 80.916 were in units of AMU. Now, this is the weight of the average bromine atom. If you look at the periodic table and look over here at bromine, we'll see bromine has an atomic weight of 79.904. We calculated it to be 79.90. Close enough. Okay. Now let's take another look at what this number means. Okay. I want to point out something else regarding percent abundances and the answer we've got. One of the isotopes weighs 70, weighs 78.918. Now let's just round that off to 79. The other isotope weighs 80.916, and let's just round that off to 81. And let's just appreciate that we can draw a number line between these two. And let's just appreciate that there are numbers between 79 and 81. Now, our answer is 79.9. 
which is, you say, close to 80. Okay, great. But it's 79.9. Now let's look at the percent abundances. This 78.918 has an abundance of, let's say, 51%. The 80.916 had an abundance of 49%. I'm just rounding off real quick here. Now, our answer, I hope this makes sense to you now, our answer should be closer to 79 than 81 because our abundance for 79 is slightly greater than our abundance for 81 which is only 49%. So if we had to draw like a middle line here, say right about there, this will be 80.5, halfway between 79 and 81. Well, 79.9 would be somewhere right about there, which is closer to 79. Hence, we're rationalizing why um, our answer is 79.9, which is closer to 78.918 than it is to 80.916.